Good morning, family. Takuma New Life Church. It is also a blessed day. God bless you. God loves you. And I pray for you to build up many things that are pleasing to God. The time you may see God is with you in your reality. Amen. Today, we continue to share about becoming a mature Christian according to the Bible reading plan. The topic is patience and kindness. Becoming, becoming a mature Christian is a very natural desire for a born-again Christian. If you are a born-again Christian, yes, of course, you have, holy you have a holy desire to, be, uh, to become a mature Christian. Christian. Because uh, when God calls us his children, it means not toddlers but mature children who can work with the Father for his mission, for his vision, for his words. So that you should know it is possible for you and, I, me, and me to be a mature Christian only with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, as Triune God, teaches us and reminds us what Jesus has told us. And also, the Holy Spirit uh, rebukes us when we go astray, when we think about wrong things, and when you walk, when you walk uh, toward the wrong way. Yes, of course, Holy Spirit. Um, is never lazy to rebuke us. And then he always leads us to the truth. Yes, that is the words of the Holy Spirit. At the time, through this, his, uh, through this ministry of the Holy Spirit, he builds us up as imitators of Christ, who are resembled with God the Father. So main point at the time is to have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is the characters of the Holy Spirit, God. Because we are children of God, absolutely we have uh, the we we can resemble God, His characters. So uh, when you talk about the uh, fruit of the Holy Spirit. You know, there are nine kinds of character. But even though there are nine kinds of character, they are not separated. We cannot think about uh, them uh, separately. Because the fruit, when you talk about the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the word, the, the word fruit is a singular word grammatically, although uh, we have nine kinds of fruit. It's interesting, right? If you were grown up at the, uh, from the Sunday school, you may remember about that. When you uh, learn about the uh, fruit of the Holy Spirit, uh, we would see the picture of the grapes. So there is the uh, um, there is a fruit of love, fruit of joy, fruit of pe uh, fruit of uh, peace, like that. However. Um, that is just one fruit, singular, so that we can uh, we'd better think like that. There is one fruit, and then we can see that fruit with nine angles. That is characters. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, among them, we're going to talk about patience. I'd like to emphasize patience today. Jesus said in, in the, at the uh, Gospel of Luke 21, 19, Jesus said, In your patience, possess ye your souls. King James Version. Yes, in your patience, you may gain your souls. Like that, patience is so important character for us. And also, when Apostle Paul proves his apostleship, being, a, uh, being apostle, at the time, the first sign is patience. When you read 2 Corinthians 12, 12, it is, it is what it says. 
the signs of the true apostle were performed among you with utmost patience with the signs and the wonders and mighty works. Yes, as, a, as an apostle, Paul did many things. He did many, 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 many things. However, he, choose, he, chose, uh, he chose a patience as a sign of being apostle. Patience. So that means patience makes your soul mature and abundant. And the patience is the first sign as a child of God who has a calling and a mission from God. So patience makes our souls, our souls abundant. And patience is a sign who we are. Why? Because it is the character of God. Our Father God's character, one of our Father God's characters is patience. It's so important to his character. When you read Romans chapter 2 and 4 ESV, it's like that. The uh, Bible says like this. Do you presume on the riches of his kindness and the forbearance and the patience? not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? When God is waiting for us to have repentance, one of His character is patience. Because He has waited for, a long, for us for a long time with patience, yes, we could have repentance to be his children it's his character that's why we need to practice the fruit of uh, the, the, the character of patience we need to have patience when you go through uh, fiery trials as you know uh, developing the characters of Jesus uh, to uh, being becoming uh, the imitators of Christ Jesus is not easy way. It's not easy way. As you know, Jesus never promised easy way for us. He promised us the way for eternity. That is a narrow way and narrow gate, so that. Why, why we walk on the narrow gate, a narrow uh, roads to get the narrow gate? The time there are so many fiery trials because we are here. So that the time we need to make patience, perseverance in Jesus Christ. The time our souls must be. Abundant, stronger and stronger. And also, we should put up with each other and love each other with patience. We may accept others' mistakes with patience because our faith life journey is not the road uh, we may go alone. We have to stick together as His body. At the time, uh, we have to accept each other. But as you know, we are so different. We are so different. We have different angles and different languages and different thoughts. We are totally different. That, that's why we can make beautiful harmony uh, with our differences. And that's blessing. At the time, we need to put up with each other with patience. If we lose patience, we cannot accept each other at, to make harmony in Jesus Christ. So that sometimes we can see the other's mistakes at the time, we need to develop, we, meet, we need to build up my patience. So what, should, what can we have from, uh, what can we have when we build up our patience? Absolutely, we can have blessings from God. The James 
The book of James 5, 11 says like that. As you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered. Amen. Yes, right. Blessed are those who have patience. Continually, the James says like that. Uh, you have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. When he developed, when he built the patience in Jesus Christ and uh, with the Holy Spirit, yes, actually, when he built the patience in our life journey, we need the Holy Spirit to help also, even though that is the character of the Holy Spirit. When, he, when we have decided to build the patience in our life's journey because we love God and we want to resemble God, at the time, Holy Spirit always helps you. Absolutely, absolutely, amen. At the time, we can make patience, we can build a patience in our reality, and then God gonna give you many, many blessings in your life's journey like job story remember patience patience be patient with the holy spirit be patient in the name of jesus christ you and i will gonna receive his blessings let's pray father god thank you for giving us opportunity to resemble with our father god you father we want to build up the characters of the holy spirit the fruit of the holy spirit so according to today's script today message we want to be patient with jesus christ we want to build up patience perseverance in the name of jesus christ and then we want to receive your blessings here as well as there. Yes, Father, please help us to make patience. I lift up this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.